Welcome back to some more Incredibox. Today we're going to be playing a new version of Setbox called Lights Out. Sounds like a name to a horror movie. That's kind of cool. So this recently came out and when I heard there was a new version of Setbox, of course I had to check it out. Next video will most likely be continuing on Colorbox, so version 8, which is brown, and then version 9, which is uh, black. We're getting close to the end of Colorbox. So either way, let's look at this week's fan art, shall we? First one coming in from Z Noodle Arts, coming in with a sketch. And if you don't know already, this is the uh, evacuate Azurus, right? From the uh, from the intro, with the blindfold and everything. Also with a demonic smile, god. Also, I'm curious, are the sketches like this harder to do? Either way, this is awesome. I love seeing sketches like this too. And with the corrupted Azurus, nonetheless. Another sketch coming in from Just Stop. Yeah, I was about to mention you when I was checking out Z Noodle's sketch. So this is a recreation of like the evacuate intro. You got the Azurus who's tied up. Oh my god, you even got the eyeball one. Dude, I, I tried sneaking that in there to try to make it a bit unnoticeable, but I feel like a lot of people noticed it. <laughs> Either way, it always shocks me like the detail on these sketches. Like these are these are awesome. We get another one coming in from Z Noodle Arts. Now this one is crazy. Man, just the overall design is awesome. I love that broken mirror effect where you see half of like the demonic Azurus and then the normal one. Clearly in some kind of distress. Now I did say I wanted to re recreate this. I, I kind of do want to recreate this. Maybe for like a thumbnail. Oh my god, that would be cool. Next one coming in from A, it's Amy with a polo design and lore. Name is the bread deity. Gender male, age unknown. Appearance looks like Azurus, but something's off. God, I love that. That really looks like a pole that can be in a future mod. Of course, you get the Pharaoh fluid or Brim Pharaoh from the other version of a horror mod that I played. Oh, we're not done because we got another polo design by Z Noodle Arts. Now this one, seemingly different from the last one. A different style Azurus, if you would. The one coming in from the Evacuate mod. Name is Azurus, which um, I'm curious to see what that stands for. <laughs> Age unknown, gender male. Appearance, grayscale tone. Where's a dark blindfold that has ferro fluid running down from it? That's pretty damn creepy. Even got like the even got the chain in there too. Oh my god, that's cool. God, overall, I love these pole designs. Last one coming in from D6 Ian. And honestly, I'm really liking this one. It has a very unique art style. It's like a very cartoony looking Azurus. And I think that's pretty cool. And Azurus, please, my name is not pronounced D6 Ian, it's Dylan. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. In my defense, I've never seen somebody replace a Y with a six. No wait, I must be tripping because I remember saying your name D6 and then an I, not an L. So once again, thank you so much for sharing our artwork. We have so much more to cover. Either way, let's actually move on to the mod. This is Setbox version eight lights out. I would expect some noise. I feel like that's Colorbox. Colorbox does that a lot in some of its versions. Is this a scary mod? Also, we see some very similar polos, like this one, like the, uh, the soldier, yeah, the clock, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clock is ticking. I harm things both biotic and abiotic. You don't know I'm there until I start acting. I change the style inside of my current host. Am I? Am I supposed to put in a code or something? No. <laughs> no. I'm not doing math homework. Okay, with a little bit of searching. <laughs> a virus. Uh-huh. And 87. Are these bonuses or polos? Polos. So from the start, it looks like a, a recording, right? I feel like that's what the style they're going for here. That's pretty cool. So I guess on that note, let's move on to the first beat. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. All right, let's hear it. Very interesting first beat. It almost sounds like a glitch effect almost too, but I feel like that fits the kind of theme that I'm feeling here. Also, like I said, we've seen this one. This is the soldier from various different versions in the setbox series. Moving on to B2, I'm gonna guess it's a clock. That might be one of my favorite clock polos I've ever heard. That was amazing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Props to that beat, my god. And that animation was cool for that too. Moving on to beat three, My god. Interesting beat. Startling, to say the least. It sounds like a, a gunshot almost. Also, I, I remember that one from before. It's a uh, little like air cannons. Moving on to the goggles.
Oh my god, this is this is a pretty good set of beats. Sick beatbox. The first one in here that I don't recognize. Moving on to the skull, we know this one. This is the one that was chanting in one of the versions, right? Mysterious Abyss. I cannot pinpoint a style. It's like tribal, almost. The beats are great so far. Let's move on to the effects. Starting off with the first one, the goggles, it looks like. It's it's usually either a synth or a bass, and I'm going for more of a bass this time, yeah. Crazy pole design. That guy is messed up. I was wrong. It's a synth, a deep synth, and it sounded nice. I should have known that. Come on, man. Moving on to effect two. <laughs> oh my god. So that one looks like the eyeball one. Yeah, the pole design for that one, pretty. Pretty creepy. Overall, that's a nice effect. I like the distortion sounds. Moving on to effect three. I don't even know what to expect at this point. Clearly, we have an alarm. Creepy design for an alarm, though. God, it's like a mon. It was like some kind of monster. I feel like most alarm polos are usually like a like a siren or a robot, right? Moving on to effect four. Oh my god, another one of my favorite clock polos that I've seen. That sounded dope, scary, and nice too. It had like a had like a tone to it too. That was nice. Pretty excited to put these two clock ones together. Alright, moving on to effect five. Some more goggles. I didn't expect that. That was cool. Bro, that was awesome. Yeah, these setbox versions are getting crazy, man. Turning on and off his flashlight was not expecting. I wouldn't say it was a jump. It wasn't a jump scare, but it caught me off guard. Let's move on to the melody. I'm actually pretty damn excited for the melodies. Another pretty deep synth going on there. That almost sounds like it could be, I mean if, okay, no, that's, that is 10 times deeper. Oh my God, okay. All right, moving on, I, what is that? I don't even wanna know what that is. I feel like that one gets more messed up every time I see it. It sounds great though. The strings, yeah. Moving on to Melody 3, not too sure what that, uh, some kind of mask it looks like. got some throwbacks there. I, I saw the phone in there. I, I think I saw the TV in there too. The animation for that was cool. I always like when they include like some of the past polos in here. Moving on to Melody 4. Oh yeah, that was cool. It's like a whistle, right? I like how the pitch went down too. That was nice. Moving on to Melody 5. What if I make some kind of like locker intro? I mean, you would already know by now, but that could be a possibility to switch it up from the TV. Overall, I mean, dude, I don't think I've heard a bad polo yet. Moving on to the uh, voices now. Lights are now out, eyes in the dark. Run through the halls and make your monk. Pour 
horses are walking in the night. Hide and fight or you'll see where am I? Yo, that was cool. That reminds me of one of the voices from Bonfire, I think. Yeah, Bonfire. Also, Bonfire and the mechanic. Bonfire especially. Uh, definitely one of my favorite mods right there. I don't think they're going to be continuing on with it, unfortunately, but um, uh, I don't know. Moving on to voice two. That is a good choir. I remember at the beginning of Setbox when I'm like, I hear, I heard the choirs and I'm like, I don't really like them. But there's a point in Setbox where the choirs turned amazing. Pretty cool pole design too. I like that one. All right, moving on to voice three. God, these voices are good. I don't know what was happening to his eyeball. Uh, clearly, it was melting. I feel like that. I feel like that's painful. I mean, he was singing through it. He was singing through. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't hurt. All right, <laughs> moving on to voice four now. Solid, dude. It's like 8-bit, but it sounded like a glitchy 8-bit kind of tone and of course the visuals made it seem glitchy last but not least actually we have two more but let's finish off the voices here voice five Someone might have to post the lyrics for that one in the comments here. I don't know what they said. However, we did get another polo with some lyrics. I'm not opposed. That was nice. Let's move on to the bonus. Bonus one, let's hear it. <laughs> places that was cool it sounded great i'm wondering what would happen if you put that like with different polos if it'll like take them out all right either way moving on to bonus two hello everybody my name is markiplier and welcome to hello everybody my name is welcome welcome hello everyone my name is welcome <laughs> that must be one of my favorite things i've ever heard never expected to see markiplier in a incredibox mod either way Let's move on to the beats. Nah, bro. Fire beats. Dude, that pause, like when the clock kind of stops, ticks slowly for a second. Oh my god. I think that's going to sound amazing with the whole mod. What about the effects? Those are some crazy effects. Also, pretty pretty creepy all together too. I will say though, they sound pretty damn good together. Now I'm curious what the, sh wait, should I put this one with the melodies? I'll put it in last for the melody. I guess I'll put this with the voices maybe at the end. All right, let's hear it.
Okay, all right. So if you put the bonus one in there, it'll go within any ones that aren't open. And you kind of have to find it when you want to take it off. It sounds great, so I'm glad it doesn't take away Polos. Solid set of melodies. Uh, I really like this whistle one. Moving on to voices, including the Markiplier one. Lights are now out. Eyes in the dark. Run through the halls and make your monk. Corpses are walking in the night. Hide fight walls. Where am I? Lights are now out. Voices are great, man. The, the, the Markiplier, I mean, it didn't sound bad in it. It worked, I guess. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Welcome. Now that we've gone over the beats, effects, melodies, and voices, even the bonus polos, we've got to get ourselves going with a nice, scary beat.
I think that is going to wrap it up. Man, this setbox version kind of like snuck up from under me. I had no idea that this one was coming out until it came out. Either way, if you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, the link will be down in the description. It is always good seeing a new version of Setbox, but of course we still have a few color box versions to go over. So let me know what you guys think about this mod. Me personally, I thought it was great. So thank you for the members of the channel. Thank you for the people who've joined the Discord and thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed because I surely did. And on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video.